Whether you are a developer, office worker, designer, creative, marketer, or whatever, you are going to one day have to deal with video files. Maybe you will need to compress a video, convert it, cut it, add a watermark to it, turn it into a GIF, mute the audio, add subtitles, get a thumbnail, whatever. You get the point. Instead of going online and downloading a program that may or may not contain a virus or having to pay for a license, you can instead learn how to use FFMPEG and perform all the tasks I just mentioned and many more from your computer for free and offline. FFMPG is a tool that anyone, developer or not, can learn how to use that is incredibly versatile and useful for doing lots of video and audio related tasks. FFMPG is the industry standard for dealing with video and audio files. You can find it being used by some of the biggest companies in the world like YouTube, Twitter, Microsoft and more. But lucky for us, we don't even need to learn any programming concept or anything like that to take advantage of it. Once you find the commands you need, you can write them down somewhere and just reuse them over and over again. FFMPG is a command line you utility tool, which means that it is a program that we use from our terminal because it doesn't have a graphical user interface. To use it, after installing it, the step number one is open your terminal and navigate to the folder that has the video files you want to work on. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry. All you have to do is find the folder with the videos you want to work on. Open your terminal, drag the folder there and press enter. Now we can run our first command. Let's say we want to change this video format from MP4 to MOV. To do this, all we need is to run this command. Here we are calling the FFMPEG program. And telling it to take the source.mp4 video file as an input using the dash i option. Finally, we write the name of the file we want to receive with the format that we want. We press enter, FFMPEG will do its magic and we will get the file we want at the end. Super easy! If we want to cut the video from the 30 second mark to the 40 second mark, for example, we can use this command. Here we are again calling the program with the source.mp4 video as an input. Then we use the dash ss option to indicate the start time of the cut and the dash to option to indicate indicate the end time of the cut. Finally, we write down the name and format of the resulting file that we want. We press enter, wait for a bit, and we can now check and see that we got a file that is 10 seconds long. If I have an image like this one and I want to put it on top of my video as a watermark, all we have to do is this. Here we give FFMPEG two inputs the source.mp4 and the watermark.png file. And by using the dash filter complex option, we tell FFMPEG to overlay the second input on top of the first input and to put the output of that in result.mp4. We press enter, we wait, and it works. We can change the position of the watermark by passing the X and Y coordinates to the overlay filter where the first number is the X value and the second is Y. FFMPEG supports tons of filters that can be applied to both audio and video. For example, if we wanted to scale down the video, change it to grayscale, flip it vertically and write a text on top of it, we would run this command. Here we are passing the dash VF option for video filters. We are using the scale filter that takes two values, width and height. For the width, we pass 480 pixels and for the height, we pass minus one to automatically calculate the height and maintain the aspect ratio of the original video. Then we use the format filter to change the pixel format to grayscale and the V flip filter to flip the video vertically. Finally, we use the draw text filter to write hello and position the text in the X and Y coordinates that we want. And finally, change the text size. We press enter, wait for a bit and we will get exactly what we asked for. A smaller video in grayscale flipped vertically and with a hello text on top. Using the FPS filter, we can turn the video into images, which is super useful if you need to generate thumbnails for a video. Here we are using the FPS filter to extract one frame every five seconds. Then as an output, we write thumb underscore percentage 03d.jpg. The percent tells FFMPEG that this is a format pattern. The 03 tells FFMPEG that we want three digit numbers like 001, 002, 003, etc. And finally, the D tells FFMPEG to put a decimal number that corresponds to the number of the frame. We run the command and voila, we now have a thumbnail of every fifth frame of the video named in a very organized way. Awesome! I could show you commands all day, but I think that by now you get the point. FFMPG is incredibly powerful and versatile. The commands you saw barely scratch the surface of what FFMPG can do. You can use FFMPG to do so much more. It can turn images into video only, apply filters to audio, turn many videos into one, create transitions between cuts, make the video go faster or slower, and more. As you saw, it is easy to use, but can also get incredibly complex. This crazy command, for example, will give us this output. Crazy. 
to learn what are the FFMPEG options for your specific use case, I could tell you to go to the documentation where every single option is explained. But to be honest, even I find it hard to find what I'm looking for in there. Thankfully, we have ChatGPT. I have found it to be pretty good in giving me all the commands I have ever needed. And more importantly, explaining what the commands do and what their possible values are. FFMPEG is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. To install it in Mac OS, first install Brew, which is a program that allows you to install command line tools like FFMPEG and more. Then run Brew install FFMPEG in your console and you are done. To install it in Windows, first install the app installer from the Microsoft Store and then run Winget install FFMPEG in your console and you are good to go. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching as always. See you on the next one. Bye bye.